Hi guys, welcome to Crazy Coders Club. It's been a long time I have uploaded video, but here onwards I'll be uploading very frequently. So please support me to bring more things. Here is our first uh, video on how to use Google Sheet as database. Mm, follow these instructions. Please watch complete video carefully or else you may end up with error. I'll be using ready code in most of the steps to save some time. We'll be sharing all the resources in the blog. So you can find the links in the video description. Please like, share and comment. This is the what I expect from you guys for my efforts that I put. So don't forget to do all these things at the end. Okay, let's start. So basically what we are doing. So this is what we are going to do. I'm taking item example. I'm adding iPhone X from my Android phone and this is should be going to sheet. Yeah, it's working. So let's start. First step as usual we will create new project. So make sure you have latest version of Android Studio and uh, you have proper internet connectivity. Now everything needs internet to work on. So my project is created. I need to check with the Gradle file. Come down. Yeah. So here compiled SDK version is uh, 28. I'm Mm, there are some problem with the 28 so I'm using 27 here so change wherever it necessary after doing as usual sync the gradle files so step 2 is creating main files that is add item dot xml and add item class I'm not going to type every part of the code as said in the beginning. So I'm I have already created and tested the application. So I will use the ready code which I have done. So this is the XML file. I'm copying it. Don't worry, I'm going to share all the resources in the blog. So let me create add item class. So in this class, I'm going to add items and sending it to Google Sheets. So we need Wally library. So we will adding it in the Gradle dependency. Why we need is this is the main library which is going to send your details to Google Sheet through REST operations. It will handle your HTTP requests in the Android phone and it is going to send request to server. So I'm copying add item class. So I have added it. I need to remove import. Okay, sorry package. So we are done with our uh, main code and class. I'm going to explain the flow now. So our view will be consisting of uh, layout will be consisting of two edit text and one button so in the add item class here i have declared two edit text objects and one button object and in the down here i am binding xml objects with java objects so make sure your uh, id should match whatever you declare in the xml file it is et means edit text e and btn means button so respective ids i have used here and i have added on click listener to button so this interface is going to implement on click listener so simple logic on click that button what should happen here on click that button i have telling it to add items to google sheet i have defined one function that is method so that is going to add things to google sheet here i have used most of the wally library defined uh, 
objects so basically first after clicking that button one dialog will appear that is progress dialog loading and while it is loading it takes whatever we type it in the edit text that is apple iphone and apple those things will be stored in the local strings name and brand and that will be passed as a parameters with a http post request here i am using post request uh, since i am posting the things you can use get also but usually while posting the things we use post so here i will be passing parameters so action add item item name name and brand as brand it's very simple no complications if you want to add one more item we can add it here as a parameters and add so i will be explaining it in the next video so this is the request that is going to request wally to handle this http request you can go through the code and understand the logic so next step is to add simple button for demonstration in the main activity class just for the moment navigation it will be acting as menu for our project first i'm adding add item button it is going to navigate it to add item class so i have ready code with the uh, main activity just using it what i am saying is on click that button just go to add item class it's very simple you can understand that logic so after all doing this main part is adding missing classes whichever class by default main activity is there in the manifest i just added add item and one more thing is add internet permission otherwise whatever we press on the button nothing is going to server it will be stayed in the client itself okay our android part is completed now let's start with the back end part so i will be creating new folder for demonstration purpose so first i will be creating one sheet most of you are familiar with the steps give a name to sheet i will be adding four columns date id item name and brand okay now let me create app script this is the back end script i am using give a name to project g sheet demo okay i will be decorating these columns just for better look okay it's done now let me add app script code okay this is my app script code i have simplified it first let's change the url of this spreadsheet i am using okay guys this is the spreadsheet so there is difference between sheet and spreadsheets so main spreadsheet can contain n number of sheets see sheet 1 is the sheet is in the main spreadsheet google sheet demo so i am renaming it as items as i have used here as items get sheet by name items okay this is the do post request i am requesting post request from my android device so here i am using do post so uh here i am receiving action parameter in the post request so what i am saying is if action is equal to add item go to add item function so here i have defined add item function first parameter is date it is the predefined function 
ID. I'm just adding item and incrementing it by one. So item name, I'm receiving it from the client e dot parameter dot item name. E is the uh, parameter object that is sent from the client. That is Android phone. Uh, I'm at the end. I'm appending all the parameters received or variables in the sheet. So make sure your parameter whatever you are passing from your client should match with the parameters that you are receiving in the sheet especially these three items action item name and brand so those things i am receiving and those things should match in the e dot parameter or parameter name that's it let's deploy and check make sure anonymous can access Don't worry, app isn't verified, but I'm the owner. I'm testing my own app script. Okay, it's ready. Let's test it in the Postman tool. You can download it from just Googling Postman. So uh, I'm using post request. So you can't send parameters, just you need to add it in the body as form data so here i'm sending test parameters okay let's send the request yeah it's success let's check it in the sheet yeah here is our test data so it's working now we will add the same web app url in the string wish request object as parameter so don't forget to change this otherwise you will not it app won't work this is the important step okay let's run and check in the real device So build complete it is installed now yeah okay I'm taking it in the parallel oh. item iPhone X brand Apple okay it's working we'll add one more redmi 4 brand m i yeah it is working that's it guys you can find the resource in the video description so if you like the video please like share comment and if you have not subscribed please subscribe and if you want to contribute you can find the link in the below description okay once again thanks for watching bye bye